the backrooms database. Watch your back. Object number 89. Cat. 2. Overseer Andrew. From. Solomon Myers. Subject. Requesting green light for object 89 write up. 04.12.2026. Perhaps this is a bit too soon, but I feel like this is necessary for the database. There's a lot of history here that cannot be forgotten. Signed, Solomon Myers, Meg. Object underscore 89 underscore draft dot txt. Object number 89, former overseer cat. Description. Object 89 is the cadaver of former Meg Overseer, Cat. The death was kept secret for a time out of respect until it was publicly revealed that she had died of natural causes. Footnote. We both know that's not true, but I respect your request to keep it secret. End footnote. The most notable aspect of the object is the fact that in the two months between her death and her eventual burial, her body was not seen to decompose. On January 3rd, 2026, Overseer Cat was buried without a coffin in level 135. Her grave is adorned by a simple, unmarked gravestone. As per her requests, the exact location of her grave has not been released. 2. Solomon Myers. From. Overseer Andrew. Subject. Reply to requesting green light for Object 89 write-up. 04.12.2026. Request denied. Signed. Andrew. He means well. Two men stand in front of a moss-covered headstone. I know, it's just... it's still a lot. The second man lets out a defeated sigh. I never expected Cat to be the first one to pass. He runs his fingers through his hair. A slight tremor can be seen in his hand. I mean, she's been here for so much longer than any of us. I guess I really thought she would live forever. Nobody saw it coming. I know. They sit in silence for a long time, staring at the headstone. A wolf howls in the distance. The two look up, startled by the sound, and when they look back, the headstone is gone. The ground undisturbed, unbroken, incorrupt. The first man looks confused, but says nothing. The second man walks up to the spot that no longer hides a body. He takes a small arrowhead out of his pocket, note, see the gods of Griots, and drops it, but what hits the ground is a single lupine tooth. It sinks as if in water. The men listen for something, some sign, some closure, but there is nothing. The forest is still. The trees are quiet. They finally walk away.